Welcome to writewithgool.com. In this video, we'll discuss about how to add macro in Confluence pages. So if you are new to this channel and looking forward to learn Confluence from basic to expert level, consider watching my complete playlist. And if you have not yet subscribed this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's begin with today's agenda. We'll discuss here what is macro in Confluence how to add macro, how to edit macro with practical demo. So let's jump to our Confluence login credential where our piece is already created. Let's select any of this piece and click on create tab. So before proceeding directly with the creation of macro, let's understand what is macro. Macro are how you supercharge your confluence pages. You can use macros to change the format and layout of your page, display media like video, audio, and social media content, collate and organize confluence pages, blocks, and files, perform actions from pages such as creating a page from a template, take your confluence space to the next level using macro. So we'll see here which all macros are available. There are too many macros. I think it's more than 50 macros are already there. And some of the products are already building or some of the macros are already in pipeline or in the progress of creations. So let me take out some names like uh, anchor macro, attachment macro, blog post macro, chain history macro, chart macro, Cheese macro, experts macro, expand macro, favorite pages macro, gadget macro. So there are too many macros that are available, but let's create some of them here. So for I am giving name here as a macro, and for creating a macro, we just have to click on forward slash and use table of contains. I'm using here table of contains but for using macro we need to have some header contains should be available if you don't have any headers it will never work so that's a mandatory requirement for creating a macro so let's create it header so this is macro let me add some more header one this is macro one this is macro two now let's use this macro or post creating the table of content just publish the content now you can see the header which we have created is published inside the table of contents in macro so this is by default way of creation of table of contents let me edit this content and change the structure now you can see here it was populated in the list manner but we want to do in the flat or let's see this it means we have added it let's publish this after changing or after making the changes it's mandatory required to refresh your page or the content should be published otherwise it will never work for some of the macros it's working perfectly fine but for others macro you have to publish your page now let me edit one more time so here we are editing and giving it to list again but this time we are giving as a arrow Publish this page.
it will not work because because arrow is not a part of any list let's give the square or square now save this and publish this page so if you can see here the bullet points are updated with square so this is how we can edit our macros in our page we can also do some wider uh, changes of your macro like uh, extending or mm, this panel or if you want to delete simply click on this and your macro is deleted permanently but if you want to make some more changes like heading indent brackets minimum heading level or uh, including heading excluding heading printable non printable these all are also possible to update your macro according to your requirement there are several other macros are also there just like as i said tables or uh, anchor ways anchor Let's publish this. Now you can see anchor is implemented and this content is shifted here. And you can see here uh, copy link to the heading. So these all are anchors which is added here. So this is all about macro in Confluence pages. Hope you liked it. If you really enjoyed this session, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Thank you for watching.